Hello everyone, my name is Miss Aliza Alexander and this is my friend Yolo. Hello friends, how are you feeling? I am very excited for today. Are you? Well, I am indeed excited, Yolo. Today, we are going on a magical adventure. On this adventure, we are going to read an interesting story and play challenging games. Let's start the adventure! Boys and girls, I hope you are comfortable. Grab a fluffy pillow and a healthy snack. Our adventure is about to begin. Where are we? Well, Yolo, this is the National Library of Malaysia. I believe we've never been here before, right? Now look around you. There are a lot of books, old and new. Fun fact, friends, do you know there are more than 129 million books in the world. That is a lot. Yes, you. Even I am shocked. 129 million books. I think it is because many people love reading books during their free time. I myself, I love to read books when I am free. I have full books in my cabinets and it makes me so happy. I just enjoy reading books. Yolo, what do you do during your free time? Well, I love playing computer games. Sometimes I go swimming. I get to meet my friends when I do this. Nice, that is fantastic. It does make us happy, right? Well, I am interested to know what do other people do during their free time. Boys and girls, what do you do during your free time? Think about it and let me know. Miss Eliza! Ah! What is happening, Yolo? What's happening? There is something, something there on the bookshelf. It is, it is trying to fly out. Are you sure? I'm sure it's nothing YOLO. Let's check it out. I'm sure it's nothing dangerous. Hmm. Well, look, there is an envelope here. Hmm. This is mysterious. Can we have a look what is inside the envelope? Mm, I think first, we should check if the envelope is for us. It will be rude to read what is not ours. It says to Miss Aliza, YOLO and friends. We can open it, right? Well, it does, YOLO. Now we can open because it says Miss Aliza, YOLO and friends. Let's find a place now to open this. Ooh! This looks like a jigsaw. I think we need to match the pictures with the words, Miss Eliza. Yes, you are absolutely right. Great job, Yolo. Now, Boys and girls, shall we try putting the pieces together? Hmm, let's place the pictures on the left and the words on the right. Aha, this is easier to match now. Hmm, boys and girls, if you think Yolo and I are matching them right, say good job. If you think it is wrong, say Try again. Alright, so remember it's good job or try again. 
Now, are you ready to solve this together? This one here. Hmm. The man is planting a plant. Hmm. So, the picture should match garden. What do you think? Good job. Thank you, Yolo. So this is a perfect match. Let's try the next one. This should match with the um, cook. Buzz. Oh no, I hear try again. Mm, let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. The lady is painting a picture. The match is paint. It fits perfectly. This should be played computer games. I am confident about this. Hmm. Yes, it is. Good job, YOLO. Good job. Now, boys and girls, which one shall we match next? Hmm. How about this? This has to be read books. Yes. It does match perfectly. Good job. Now, mother loves to cook. And this picture must match cook. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I am going to try this one here. This looks like he is riding a bike. So, Ride bike. Ride a bike, it is Yolo. Good job. I am proud of you. Now, two more to go, boys and girls. You are doing a fantastic job, Tasma. This girl here looks like, um, well, she is kicking a ball. Mm, this picture should match play football. Good job. Yay! Thanks, YOLO! So, boys and girls, I am sure we can get this last one right. The children are watching TV in the living room. The picture should match with watch TV. Wonderful! And it matches. Fantastic job, everyone. Good job. Now, let's look at all the pictures together now. The girl is playing computer games. The boy is reading a book. The lady is painting a picture. The children are watching TV. The boy is riding a bike. The girl is playing football. The man is gardening. The lady is cooking. What do you think are these boys and girls? Mm, Yolo loves playing computer games. And I love reading books when we have free time. This means these are activities that you could do when you are free. Your free time activities. Fun fact! Do you know that having a free time activity makes us happy? I think it is because we enjoy doing it. Oh, the envelope is trying to tell us something. I think it is because we enjoy doing it. Oh, the envelope is trying to tell us something. What it is? Hmm. It says, flip the cards over. A magical journey awaits. Should we flip the cards? Hmm. Since it says a magical journey awaits, why not? I think we should flip the cards. Boys and girls, 
Are you ready for another magical journey? Are we inside a book? I think we are, Yolo. This feels like magic. Boys and girls, shall we read this magical book together? Saturday, free day. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Adam, Yusuf, and Aliyah are excited. They are excited because it is the weekend. They can do what they love. Mama asks, what would you love to do this morning, children? Mama, I want to garden, says Adam excitedly. I think I want to cook breakfast, Mama, says Yusuf. How about you, my dear? Mama asks Alia. Can we read together, Mama? Alia asks with a smile. Of course, Alia. Adam, Yusuf, Alia, and Mama enjoy their free time in the morning doing what they love. In the evening, Papa takes them to the park. Adam rides a bike around the park with Mama. Yusuf plays football with his friends. Papa and Alia paint a beautiful picture of the park. We had fun, Papa. Thank you for bringing us to the park. The children say and hugged their parents. They enjoy their free time in the evening doing what they love. After dinner, the family sits in the living room together. Everyone is watching TV. Suddenly, Mama asks, Where is Yusuf? Everyone starts looking for Yusuf. They are worried. Where did Yusuf go? They hear a sound from the tiny room upstairs. Boom, 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 boom. They walk up slowly. There you are, Yusuf. We are supposed to watch TV together. Alia says angrily. Sorry, everyone. Yusuf apologizes. It is all right, Yusuf. It is your free time today. You can do what makes you happy. Papa and Mama say. Everyone enjoys their free time doing what they love. Some alone, some together. We are back. I enjoyed the story very much. Mm. What did you like the most about the story, boys and girls? Let's think of something interesting. Mm, I really like that Adam, Yusuf and Aliyah are a big, happy family. They enjoy doing things they love together and sometimes alone like Yusuf. And Yolo, what do you think? Me too! Great minds think alike. Absolutely right, Yolo. Great minds definitely do think alike. So now, shall we play a game about the story, boys and girls? Before we start the game, let's grab a notebook and a pencil to write the answers. Are we ready? Now, let's read the story again. But this time, you need to write the free time activities of Adam, Yusuf, and Aliyah. You can choose to write or draw. Be creative. 
Saturday, free day. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Adam, Yusuf, and Aliyah are excited. They are excited because it is the weekend. They can do what they love. Mama asks, what would you love to do this morning, children? Mama, I want to garden, says Adam excitedly. I think I want to cook breakfast, Mama, says Yusuf. How about you, my dear? Mama asks Aliyah. Can we read together, Mama? Aliyah asks with a smile. Of course, Aliyah. Here, Adam's free time activity is to garden, Yusuf loves to cook, and Aliyah enjoys to read. Adam, Yusuf, Aliyah, and Mama enjoy their free time in the morning doing what they love. In the evening, Papa takes them to the park. Adam rides a bike around the park with Mama. Yusuf plays football with his friends. Papa and Alia paint a beautiful picture of the park. So, your notes should be, Adam loves to ride a bike, Yusuf plays football, and Alia likes to paint. We had fun, Papa. Thank you for bringing us to the park. The children say and hugged their parents. They enjoy their free time in the evening doing what they love. After dinner, the family sits in the living room together. Everyone is watching TV. Suddenly, Mama asks, where is Yusuf? Everyone starts looking for Yusuf. They are worried. Where did Yusuf go? They hear a sound from the tiny room upstairs. Boom, boom, boom! They walk up slowly. There you are, Yusuf. We're supposed to watch TV together, Alia says angrily. Sorry, everyone. Yusuf apologizes. So here, Adam and Alia love to watch TV. But Yusuf likes to play computer games. It is all right, Yusuf. It is your free time today. You can do what makes you happy, Papa and Mama say. Everyone enjoys their free time doing what they love. Some alone, some together. Now, great job, everyone. I hope you have everything that you need for the game now. Now, before we move ahead, you will need to prepare three pieces of paper. Write the names of the characters on each piece of paper. One for Adam, one for Yusuf, and the last one for Alia. For each question asked, you will need to raise the correct card and say their name out loud with the answers. Let's try an example. So, the first one. Who loves to garden? That's right, Adam. So let's say together, Adam loves to garden. Fantastic job, everyone. Now that you know how to do this, let's start the game. The first question now is, who enjoys playing football? Yes, it is Yusuf. And let's say together, Yusuf enjoys playing football. Great job, everyone. Going on to the next question, who enjoys Reading. It is Alia. Alia enjoys reading. Fantastic job, everyone. Going on to the next question. Who loves to paint 
with her father. Absolutely right, it is Alia. Alia loves to paint with her father. And you must have gotten this right. Am I right? Now, next question. Who loves to watch TV? And the answers are Alia and Adam. Alia and Adam love to watch TV. You are nailing this. Now, the next question. Who enjoys playing computer games alone? That's right, it is Yusuf. Yusuf enjoys playing computer games alone. Great job, everyone. Now, next question. Who shares the same free time activities with the parents? It is Alia. Alia shares the same free time activities with her parents. She enjoys reading with her mother and she loves painting with her father. Now you are absolutely brilliant. Let's give a big round of applause to everyone. Great job. Now, boys and girls, we are going to play one last game. And you know what's the name of this game? It is called Act It Out. Now, everyone there at home, get ready to move around. You will need to act the word displayed on the screen. It will be more fun if you have someone to guess it with. So call your friend or call your sister or your brother or even your grandmother. All right, are you ready? Now, you have 10 seconds to act it out and your friend or anyone else will need to guess what are you acting out. All right, so the first word on display. Let's see what it is. I'm sure you did a great job. It is gardening. Yay! Now, let's look at the second word displayed on the screen. Great job, everyone! It is playing computer games. That's right. On to the next word. I hope your friend has guessed it right. So it should be. And it is cooking. Yummy and I'm hungry now, I guess. Mmm. Let's go on to the next one first. And it is this. Have you done acting it out? Did your friend guess it right? I'm sure they did. The act is this. It is reading. So fantastic job, everyone. I'm sure you're getting this right each time. Now, on to the next word. Mm. How do I do this? Did you do it right? Did you get to do this? Well, I am doing it now, so great job! It is playing football! I'm sure you have had a good time moving around and acting it out. And now that we have learned a few free time activities, why don't we write about our own free time activities? Are you up for it, boys and girls? Will it be alright to have three free time activities? Well, I think it is absolutely fine, Yolo. We can have as many free time activities as we want. It has to be something that we can do when we are free 
to make us happy. So, boys and girls, why don't you list five free time activities that you enjoy doing? Now, let's look at what I have here. There are a few that I enjoy doing when I am free. Number one, I love traveling. So when I'm free, I love to travel. Next is I love reading a book. I told you this earlier. Books are my heaven. And next to it is playing board games. I love playing chess, Monopoly, and also Scrabble. My next free time activity that I enjoy uh, that sometimes can be not so healthy is baking cakes. I love sugar and I love cakes. And last but not least is sleeping. Sleeping? Is sleeping a free time activity? Don't we sleep eight hours every day? Well, yes, Yolo, we do sleep eight hours every day, but I like sleeping when I am free as well. It makes me so happy. So, boys and girls, have you written your five free time activities? Now, let's write simple sentences using those activities. I will be guiding you through this, so don't worry. I am ready when you are. So first, let's introduce yourself. I am... Fill it up with your name. So for example, I am YOLO. And we are done with the introduction. Let's introduce your free time activities. I love what when I am free. So. Here is one example for you. I love traveling when I am free. It's so easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, let's fill up the blanks using the other free time activities. You may use these sentences as an example. So for instance, I enjoy doing something. I love doing something. I like doing something. Take your time to write this. Do not rush. Think it through and write it on a piece of paper. Here is what YOLO has written for us. Now, I'm going to read it out for you. So, I am YOLO. I love traveling when I am free. I enjoy reading a book too. When I am free, I like playing board games. Free time activities make me happy. That's a wonderful piece, YOLO. Good job. I am sure you have a great one written too. Don't forget to share it with your parents, friends, or teachers in school. This was fun, Miss Eliza. I learned that we should all have free time activities because it makes us happy. That is absolutely right, Yolo. Also, always remember, it is all right to do what you love all alone like Yusuf or together with someone like Aliyah. So boys and girls, we hope you have enjoyed this magical journey with us. Till we meet again another time, this is us signing off, Miss Eliza Alexander and YOLO! Bye!